hey guys welcome to our youtube channel so there's been a lot of pressure around the uk and migration into the uk and there's been a recent development which i thought to share with you there have been a publication on the 3rd of july 2023 and it says red wall tory mps put pressure on sunak over net migration group issues 12 point plan calling for stricter immigration rules for care workers students and refugees and i'm going to be sharing all of the details with you in this video so if this sounds like something you're interested in do well to watch this video to the very end and if you're new here do subscribe to our channel click on the red subscription button below to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell to get notified when next to post content all right and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so let's get started <music> So the publication says that Rishi Sunak is facing demands from Red Wall Conservative MPs to slash the number of overseas care workers, foreign students and refugees allowed into the UK in time for the next election. So that is a very, very, um, should I say, disturbing uh, news, all right? I know it might not sound well for a lot of people, especially those in the UK and those planning to come already on the student visa, on the care uh, work visa, and even skilled worker visa in the UK. The MPs from the 2017 and 2019 intake who calls themselves the new conservatives has issued a 12 point plan to cut net migration to britain from 606,000 to 226,000 before the end of 2024. it says the pressure follows party anger over official figures released in may that shows that total long-term immigration was at a record high of 1.2 million people while immigration was 557,000. The rise had been largely followed by people from outside the EU entering the UK to study, work, or escape conflict or oppression. And one Red Wall source said that the Tory MPs in the north of England had been hammered on the doorsteps over immigration. And he, he said that we promised a lot in 2019 about taking back control of our borders and time is ticking the source said so with a lot of things happening around the uk the whole uh, population of people trooping into the uk there have been a lot of noise around immigration into the uk and lots of policies have been put in place in recent times one of them was the stopping of students from bringing in their dependents into the uk which would take effect from january of um, 2024 so with all of these policies that is happening that is coming up what next could these people be planning let's read further measures put forward by the new conservative include closing temporary schemes that grant eligibility for worker visas to care workers and senior care workers in order to reduce long-term inward migration by 82,000 guys what do you think about that they also propose stopping graduating students from staying on in the uk for up to two years to find work and extending the closure of the student dependent routes that allows the students family uh, members to assess the jobs market these two measures could cut long-term immigration by 125,000. the report claims so guys they're planning to stop the the proposed um, stopping the post study work visa as well and um, which I think it's a very wrong move because that's one of the things that even made the UK to be attractive to a lot of immigrants to even come and study and in my opinion I think that's going to be doing a whole lot of harm to their economy than uh, the goods they're even seeing because if people get the vibe that okay when they come to study they can't even stay back to look for work or something they're not even going to come in the first place and with the whole lot of jobs on the shortage of patient list in the uk who is going to do them <laughs> all right so what do you think what are your thoughts share with me in the comment section the mps advocate only allowing in skilled workers who earn thirty-eight thousand a year or more and they claim that this could reduce long-term inward migration by fifty-four thousand people a year can you imagine that like they're proposing to allow only skilled workers that earn up to thirty-eight thousand 
pounds in a year to come into the uk as a skilled worker is that even possible like how much does a skilled worker earn at the moment how much is even the minimum wage and even most people that have been working here for a long time don't even earn up to that much up to that amount right so this is really really crazy like it's really really in my opinion it doesn't make sense at all what do you think about it some points are highlighted here which is like some of the key uh, features of these propositions and i'm going to be mentioning them all right a cap of twenty thousand on the members of refugees accepted for resettlement in the uk one very important one is erasing the minimum combined income threshold of twenty six thousand two hundred for sponsoring a spouse and raising the minimum language requirement to b1 this should lead to an estimated twenty thousand reduction um, in the long-term uh, immigration that is if you're planning to bring your spouse on a spouse visa the combined income from both of them should be up to 26,200. the next one is a five percent cap on the amount of social housing that councils can give to non-uk nationals so at the moment how many non-uk nationals even have access to council housing in the first place all right and then this next one to be is very hilarious it says raising the immigration head surcharge to 2700 per person a year like guys 2700 immigration health surcharge like what is even the use of the immigration health surcharge like that does not even like include your visa fees that's like paying 2700 per person per year so if i get like a skilled work visa that is going to be for three years right uh i'll have to pay immigration health surcharge of 2700 times three for myself alone plus my visa application fees and then multiply that by the number of my family you can imagine that's even like that's hilarious to me is so guys those are some of the important uh, propositions made by this mps to sunak in order to reduce um long-term net migration into the uk what are your thoughts around it so if you are planning to come to the uk or and you're already here i think at this point you need to like sit down and think about your decision have a plan a plan b even plan c if possible yeah and pray about them uh, because everyday new policies keep springing up in the uk and it's not favoring immigrants or migrants into the uk so you should think about it if you're in that position and think of other options as well um you can think of other countries as well like the canada like australia like germany and all of those other options and as well you can also think of ways of um putting measures in place if you can um start up business in your home country and do very well you should think about it like have a really good think about your decisions before moving into the uk so yeah if you've watched this video to this point and you've not subscribed to our channel what are you waiting for do hit the subscription button below to subscribe to our channel turn on your notification bell to get notified the moment we post content and let's hear your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this um, particular prepositions by this MP. Until I see you again in my next video, remain comfortable, Gideon. Bye bye.